Our country is grappling with an opioid epidemic, but is another prescription drug crisis manifesting right under our noses? Our investigative producer, Leslie Marcus, reports on Hollywood's abuse of the focus-boosting ADHD drug, Adderall. When you hear Hollywood, you think glamour, fame, and fortune. But behind the scenes, Tinseltown is facing a dangerous epidemic, and it all stems from Adderall. Adderall made headlines during the turn of the century when it girls like Lindsay Lohan and Amanda Bynes used the drug accompanied by hard partying. But now the Schedule II prescription drug is making a comeback, both in front and behind the camera. Reality TV producers report using it to stay above water during grueling shoot schedules, and stars pop the pill so they can get an edge on camera. Even Justin Bieber admitted to using Adderall to focus, but considered stopping it because it gives him anxiety. In Hollywood, the pressure to look a certain way, be creative and charismatic, can lead some down a dangerous path of addiction. So could the drug that's intended for people with attention deficit disorder become this country's new drug epidemic? Leslie sat down with one of Hollywood's former It Girls, Jennifer Jimenez, who says Adderall led to her fall from grace. How did your Adderall addiction begin? At 15, I took my first Adderall. I was modeling at the time, and they prescribed me Adderall. What happened next? I was modeling. Um, I had a lot of pressures about what I look like. I always needed to be extremely small, and I started doctor shopping for Adderall. I really thought that was like the cure. Tell me about the next five years of your life. The modeling world was very fast. You know, I'm going for all these big roles and um, I'm at all the parties, you know, I'm with all the it people. I needed Adderall to function and to keep that model weight. What was the crossover like for you from modeling to film? My first movie is a, a movie called Blow with Johnny Depp. And I wanted to get really skinny because my character is a crazy coked out Colombian woman from the from the 70s. Were you high when you were shooting the film? I don't think I've ever said this. Um, I was not high in the beginning of Blow. I was totally sober and then I wasn't. Do you see the addiction in your character? In some scenes I do, yeah. I think it makes me sad because <laughs> I was so broken, and I just wish I would have given myself that opportunity to be so present for that experience. When you were going through all of this, did anybody notice? No one said anything. I was a really good manipulator. I was a great chameleon. No one knew. They didn't know that I was struggling, that I was literally dying inside. At what point did you hit rock bottom? In 11 and a half months, my life got really small, really dark, really quick. I ended up in my closet in my shoe box with all the drugs inside there, just me and the drugs. I ended up going on to treatment a couple weeks later. They told me they needed to detox me in the psych ward. My room was the last room to the left. Uh, I said I, I need to go to the restroom. And uh, when I finished, I got up and I realized that they forgot the belt. I got on top of one of the beds. I put my belt through there. I secured it. I put my neck through there and everything went black. And when I came to, I was so upset. 